Ace, the blue and black that we're gonna be using for this wig. I actually use my crochet pin to crochet some tiny portion of the attachment on the wig cap. So I'll use that as a base for plating the um hair. So guys, then I went ahead to uh, sew in my ventilating net for the front part of the hair. Not to worry, guys. I'm gonna show you how I did the back part. Mm, just a glimpse, so I don't want to waste your time. So actually, some portion of the hair off camera, but you're going to get every feel of every section of the hair how it went down. So guys, welcome to my channel. Hey. <laughs> so if you are a returning subscriber, yay! Welcome. And then if you're watching my video for the first time, please do not like to be your last. Feel free to subscribe and then turn on the post notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And then do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. So guys, yes, like I said earlier, so I'm going to show you how I actually did the back part and the front part. So I used the big crochet pin to actually take some portion of the attachment and that was the base for plating like so i did it like this this was the base then i went ahead to take um another portion of attachment to actually plot the hair so yeah like so so it actually makes it easier and it's faster i actually don't want to um <coughs> bore you with the plenty way i did the bag but i just wanted to show you a sample of how it went down so i used a big crochet pin from the for the back and then for the next part i use my small crochet pin you can make use of your small crochet pin to actually make the front part that has the net so this part i'm actually doing a feeling for this part but don't worry not to worry not to worry yeah relax relax ah! relax i'm gonna show you how i did the front part don't worry <laughs> so <clears throat> use the um small net oh my god that guy is rolling on the floor please don't mind the person behind the scene that's my son disturbing me so it's part of the hustle of motherhood and then trying to make content trying to make hair trying to make wig not to worry let me not bore you my process so i went ahead to use a small crochet pin to make the front part and then <clears throat> like so like you already seen so this is how it went down so guys do not forget to like this video i'm still going to i'm still going to show you how i made the front part of this particular wig so feel free sit back relax because the closure part i'm trying to make it as close up as possible and then um the Ghana weave part so <clears throat> yeah like i promised i said i'm going to show you every aspect of the hair so this front part actually sketch out the c part using you can actually use your you can use your eye pencil that's brow pencil then you can actually use your color pencil like i'm actually using the color pencil now but i realized it didn't come out very well so i later use my eye pencil so you just ventilate across the line like so is that simple so like if you've not watched my if you don't know how to ventilate you can actually watch uh, my video on how to ventilate for beginners it's very simple it's very easy you just learn <clears throat> it's very simple you have to be patient with yourself when it comes to ventilating with time remember learning is a process is step by step so this actually did this part actually ventilated across the line like this and then i just show you why let me just stop talking but don't forget to if you know you've not subscribed uh -uh, this is the only thing you can do for me in this video try subscribe give my video a thumbs up comment down below tell me what you think at the end of the day of this particular hair. i actually like this blue oh i call it blue flame <laughs> so I'm trying to make it as close up as possible. I'll just stop talking. Please concentrate. I'll show you how I actually made the Ghana weave part, the cornrows close up. So just watch closely. Be patient in yourself. And with time, you'll be perfect. Yay. So please don't forget to subscribe. Give my video a thumbs up. 
turn on the post notification bell so you get notified when I start post a new video. Please. So guys, just enjoy this video. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Yeah, let me stop talking. I talk too much. Please concentrate.
so for the feeding part, for the last section, I actually started feeding them, um, feeding the braids in from the left down to the right side. But for this one, we're starting from the right down to the left, which is um, the back part down to the front part so that you get the um, C part, the cuff part properly. So guys, if you've not subscribed and you're still here and you're still watching, uh -uh, let go use you. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe like turn on the post notification bell so you get notified when i post any video like comment share so this particular one i made it as up close as possible so you see how i did the feed in braid Thank <laughs> you. 